Wow, wow, wow. Where did the time go? For real, where did the time go, my friends? We are already in October. Halloween is creeping up on us very, very quickly. And that's why this video is here for you. It is full of amazing magic tricks that are perfect for the Halloween season. Just like always though, these are in no order at all. Number one is not better than number 10. Number 10 is not better than number one. These are just a few of my favorites and the best part is they are all available from magic shops right now and even better, I've got featured links below this video in the description few of our favorite magic shops around the world that can supply these for you today. And before we get into our top 10 list, don't forget to click the bell below and show some love on this video. Let us know you're out there. That way when brand new magic tricks pop up with those videos we've got for you, these brand new products show up for you, you will see them first. And I'm gonna tell you a secret right now. There is some amazing, amazing stuff coming out during the holiday season. You don't wanna miss it, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel. You dig? All right. And coming in at number one is Houdini's Last Trick. This is from Peter Egging, and it is perfect for Halloween because Houdini actually died on Halloween. The great part about this one is it's an eerie revelation of a playing card. You have a photo, you see Houdini in the photo, it sits on the table on the side in someone's hand if you want, they see Houdini, nothing there. Someone picks a card, you go through, you do your card trick, you now have them turn the picture over that they're holding or that's been in full view the whole time with no switch. And that card is now eerily revealed on the actual photo. They can check it out, they can look at it, and it has just appeared from nowhere. It is spooky, it is interesting, and it is about Houdini, which everyone knows who Houdini is. And with the background of him dying on Halloween, there's a lot of good presentational things that you can do with this. So if you like the sound of this one, check out Houdini's Last Trick. Hopping up next at number two are the Black Widow playing cards. These are perfect for the Halloween season. I mean, come on, they've got spider webs on them. They're spiders, obviously the Black Widow spider. These are great. Now you can do any of your card tricks in style, in Halloween style, these guys, that's right. Not only do they look good, they feel good too. Uh, the tuck alone has metallic red foil and it's embossed. So it's got a lot of nice detail. Even some of the light when it hits parts of the tuck, it really does pop, it looks amazing. The Ace of Spades looks great, I love it. The court cards, they've got some nice additional artwork there featuring some of the spider webs and some of the spider stuff going on in there. And the best part is these aren't gonna break the bank, they're $12 a deck. So you grab a couple of these for the Halloween season, have them ready, pop up at your next Halloween gig, and people will notice these and go, whoa, what is that? And you'd be like, yes, about to blow your mind with the Black Widow playing cards. And that's what you're gonna do when you pick them up today from your favorite magic shop. Enjoy. Coming up next at number three is EVP from Alan Rorson, and this one is absolutely perfect for the Halloween season because it's all about ghosts and ghostly voices from beyond. This one is so much fun. You're able to borrow a cell phone from someone, have them open up the audio app that's on their phone. You know the one I'm talking about. It comes on like all phones now. You have them open that up and you take their phone and you hold it. You now talk about there being ghosts possibly with you in the room. You have a feeling, right? You hit the record button and you ask a question to the ghost in the room. Maybe it's something like, what color is the sky, right? They hear you recording this. You hit the stop button and you hand them back their phone or you put it on the table. Now this is when it gets fun because not only do they hear you asking the question, they also hear a ghostly voice answering the question. Pretty cool, right? And of course, because it's on their phone, they can keep this as evidence of what's just happened. They can share it with their friends. They can play it back as many times as they want. Again, because it's on their phone. Now, if you're not in the mood to ask ghost questions, you could also use this in a casual situation or even as a seance where you're holding the phone, you're having everyone quietly focus their energy in the room, trying to capture the presence of a ghost. You hit the record button, they hear nothing. You now hit the stop button, you put the phone down, everyone's listens closely and they hear a ghostly voice again. It could be whatever you want, it could be in any language at all, there are no language limitations with this at all. That really is what you get with EVP. So if you're looking for something different and strange and honestly a little freaky to some people, people will be believers when you do EVP, so use it carefully, use it wisely. This one is a whole lot of fun and this is EVP. Right here at number four is the Bon Bon box from George Iglesias, and this one is a sweet trick. You're gonna see why I'm calling it sweet because it uses candy. Halloween and candy, they go good together, right? Yeah, you're gonna love this. Basically with the Bon Bon box, you're able to do a couple of different things here. You can show a box of chocolates that are empty, 
put the lid on, do your magic, and that box is now full of candy. You can also do it the other way around where you have candy in the box, you dump it out, you put the lid back on, and it's full again. It has now refilled itself. I can think of this being great in a couple of different ways. Of course, the obvious one, if you're doing trick-or-treating, you're staying home, you're giving out the candy, have this with you. What a great way to give out some chocolates, right? Number two, if you're doing Halloween shows, maybe you're doing family shows, maybe there's kids around, maybe it's just a family show in general that's themed around Halloween. Again, this uses candy. It's incredibly easy to do. The box, the gimmick does all the work for you. And everyone loves candy during this time of year. So I can't think of a better time to use the Bon Bon box. Keep in mind, there are two versions of this to choose from. There's the red box. You can choose the red version. A bit more generic to look like a candy box. And number two is the gold version, which looks an awful lot like the Ferraro Rochers, which you find at Walmart or online or wherever you are. You like the sound of that one? I know you would, and don't worry. It's easy to do, super, super easy. If you can literally take a box, put a lid on and open it, you too can do the Bon Bon box. Check it out today in your favorite magic shop. Sweet. Sweet. Number five, dropping on in here with the orange and black sponge balls, which as you know, the power of SpongeBob magic, where the sponge balls vanish in your hands, they transpose from hand to hand, and then of course you get the huge ending where the balls have multiplied in your hand. They just explode everywhere. Now, of course, this also can involve audience participation. You can have them hold some of these, you vanish the ball that you're holding, and bam, it appears in the hand with the other ball that they've got. Now, possible stuff, you guys know the reactions that you get with the sponge balls when you use them in your close-up magic. The best part about these in particular are they are in orange and black, the colors for Halloween, right? So if you're looking to continue to do this routine, but do it now with a Halloween theme or a Halloween look, these are absolutely perfect. You can do your favorite routine with these, same style that you're used to using, nothing different. The only real difference here is the colors that you have available. So pick those up today, put them in your pocket. You know the power of these, freak people out. Yes, you can. Grab some sponge balls today. Number six is heating up right here with Flame, an incredibly cool utility device, a utility gimmick that you could carry with you as an everyday carry, which is also perfect for the Halloween season. Let me tell you why. As you know, Magic with Fire is always a fun thing to use. It's attention getting, people are drawn in, they wanna know what's going on. And with Flame, that's what happens. You take a lighter that you've got on you, you strike it, you see the flame but then you start to concentrate and you watch as the flame starts to levitate off of the lighter into thin air. It's like levitating in the air, it looks wild. Then you can have it come back down and you're back to normal. There's a lot to love about this. It's a moment that you could use as a kind of spooky kind of moment for Halloween. Or if you wanna use it in conjunction with flash paper, you can literally hold the flash paper, have the lighter and watch that flame levitate up and light the flash paper in midair and now you can go into another trick. A couple of really cool things to love about this one. Number one, it's all self-contained in the lighter. You buy the lighter, it's ready to go. You just need to add the fluid. Number two, it's completely under your control. You control the speed and the height that the flame goes above the lighter. So that's cool. It's totally under your control at all times. There are no wires, there are no threads, there's nothing like that. And the best part is this lighter can be used as your everyday lighter as well. So you drop it in your pocket, you use it for whatever else you're using it for, and you're always ready to do something cool with flame. So check that one out. It's one of the cheapest ones here on my top 10 list at $20. So check it out today from your favorite magic shop or use one of those links below. All right? All right. Number seven, Celebrity Scorch Halloween and Horror Edition is absolutely perfect for Halloween because well, it's got Halloween in the name of the trick. And it's great because it uses fire, which we know we love. This one is a great way to reveal one of two iconic scary movie figures. You can either reveal Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers. And you do it in a flash of fire. Now you do use a blank business card. Maybe the front of your card has printing on it. The back is blank. You could use that. Or you could use a blank playing card. You choose what you want to use. Same result, different thing. So a little real talk between you and I, my friends here. You do have to force one of the two figures. Now there's a lot of different ways to do that. Again, we're talking about Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers. The cool part though is if you really think about it, there's not a lot of iconic, scary movie people that people would even think of or choose from. So these are two of the more popular. If you really want to zone it in, there's a lot of different ways to force things. 
You know that and I know that, I'll leave that up to you. So I did wanna get that out of the way. These are the two people that you can reveal, right? So you need to figure out how to get to that point. But the revelation looks amazing. It is scorched onto the business card or the playing card. They can keep it, souvenir, whatever. What a fun moment, right? And the other thing, if you really wanna get creative and you've already decided to buy flame, yes, you can use flame with this. You could literally hold the business card up, have the flame lighter, Watch the lighter is the flame levitates up and ignites the business card. Yeah, you could tie them together. I'll leave that up to you though. It's just an idea. And just as a heads up, if you like the idea of celebrity scorch, you like the idea of like burning the image of a celebrity, there's a lot of other options available besides the Halloween ones. You could get people like Tom Cruise or Elvis, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Angelina Jolie, and the list goes on and on. So check that out. Just do a search for celebrity scorch You'll find all the options that are available. These are great though for Halloween, the Freddy Krueger and the Michael Myers, obviously. But if you wanna do this year round, you can do that too. Check out Celebrity Scorch. It's getting hot in here. It is getting hot. Number eight is absolutely one of my favorites here on my top 10 list. It is Haunted 2.0. And come on, it's haunted. So it's gotta be in the Halloween list, right? Right. So you might be asking yourself, Luke, what is Haunted 2.0 or what is a haunted deck? Well, I'm glad you asked. Basically, in any haunted deck routine, a card is selected, it can be signed, it's put back into the deck, the deck then starts to eerily cut itself and the card shoots out of the side of the deck or it just becomes sticking out of the side of the deck. That's what a haunted deck routine is. Now with Haunted 2.0, there's a few things you're absolutely going to love. Number one, you don't even have to touch the deck to do any of this. The deck can be on the floor, it can be on a table, you could cover it with a glass, yet the deck still cuts itself. It starts to move and the card starts to spin itself slowly out of the side of the deck. And yes, it is the sign card. And the great part again is there's nothing connected between you and the deck like there are in other methods without giving away too much here. This is 100% self-contained. Everything you need is included to start performing this right away add this to your deck that's all i'm going to say and you'll be able to perform haunted 2.0 whenever you want you can use the presentations where you put the deck down and you use the shadows to move it you could say it's ghosts doing it whatever you want haunted 2.0 will definitely make an impact this halloween season have a lot of fun with it grab it today from your favorite magic shop well, after you buy it and have some fun with it that is haunted 2.0 number nine the orange and black Bicycle playing cards are up next here on the list. These are absolutely perfect for this time of year because of the colors. Sure, you could walk around doing your Halloween events with red or blue playing cards, but who does that? You're a professional. You wanna use the best tools possible to fool your audiences, right? Right? So spice it up, change things up, and theme it with an orange or black deck. Maybe you're doing a strolling event outside at a festival for Halloween. Use your orange or black playing cards. Maybe just maybe you're doing a Halloween show that is themed. It's a costume party. Everyone's in Halloween, but you bring on a red or blue deck. No, orange or black playing cards. You're the star of the show. You see where I'm going with this. These are great. They are perfect for this time of year or any time of year, but grab them today, stock up on them, grab a deck or 12, throw them in your pocket, throw them in your bag, grab them and take them with you. Bicycle playing cards, you can't go wrong. The orange or the black. Which one's your favorite? Tell me about it. Oh, oh, oh. Number 10, the Haunted Key Deluxe is last, but not least on our top 10 list. Obviously one of my favorites because of the name. It is a key that is haunted and does crazy stuff. But what does it do? I'm glad you asked. The Haunted Key is a classic in magic, as we all know. You take a key, you place it on your hand, on the palm, you watch closely as the key starts to turn itself over without you moving or touching it. A very eerie piece of magic, now made even better with a brand new aged looking key, a bigger key. There's weight to it, so it looks and feels like a key that you would find for an old haunted house or something like that, right? The traditional haunted keys looked anything but haunted. They were silver or chrome, they were shiny. Doesn't look haunted at all. These not only, again, look the part but feel the part, and you're able to do this and hand the key out if you want to at the end. There's nothing connected to you. There's, there's nothing like that. One of the best parts about the Haunted Key Deluxe is the price. The price is only $15. Super affordable and easy to pick up and easy to do. I wanted to mention that too. This is not hard at all to perform. 
And if you wanted to, you could even take like a chain, stick it through the head of the key and wear it as a necklace. It'd be great for the Halloween season, just as an easy way to carry it with you. Guys and gals, this is great. There's also additional ideas included on the instructional for this that include things like placing the key on the table and having it spin around and move around the table. This does require a little more effort than just doing the key in the hand effect where it turns over, being honest with you there. But there are additional ideas and routines included with the key. And there's like an hour or so of instruction there. So not only are you learning the traditional effect, but more things that you can do with it too. A true win-win, a true classic of magic, made a little bit more modern, a little bit better. Happy to bring it to you here at number 10 on my list, the Haunted Key Deluxe. Have fun with it. Don't freak people out too much, okay? Okay. And that is my top 10 list this week for Halloween. Some of my favorites for the Halloween season right here for all of you out there, my friends. So do me two favors before you get out of here. Number one, be sure in the comments to tell me your favorite. Which one of these 10 things is your favorite? Or maybe it's something that you already use. Tell me in the comments below. And number two, before you get out of here, make sure to tell me what some of your favorites are for Halloween that maybe didn't make my list. Some of these things maybe you're using and going, Luke, why didn't you mention that? Tell me, mention it in the comments. Come on, let me know. I wanna hear from you, okay? Okay. And a bonus question. Don't forget to tell me what you wanna be this year for Halloween. What are you dressing up as? You're gonna get crazy this year. You know, tone it down a little bit. What is your Halloween costume this year? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I wanna know. And as always, if you're interested in any of the products on this video, make sure to order them today from your favorite magic shop. If you don't have a favorite shop, we've got featured links below this video in the description. Some of our featured shops around the world make it super easy for you to pick those up and get them today so you have them in time for Halloween. That's it. Thank you guys and gals for being out there and joining me again. I'll be back next week with my top favorites from the month of September. September is in the past, but next week is bringing top favorites from last month. Come back to see them next week. But in the meantime, I got my lens cap. It's time to go. It's time to go. You guys take care, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next video.